Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So the next two operations for Halo Infinite have actually been revealed by 343 and the rewards themselves have been leaked as well as some key art and some other stuff about these new operations. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So the first operation we're going to be looking at is called Champions. So let's start off with the rewards for this operation. On the first tier, we got the Phoenix Emblem. On the second tier, we got 500 Spartan points. On the third tier, we got 500 500 spartan points on the fourth tier we got a thousand spartan points on the fifth tier we got our first armor piece which is the emissary knee guard on the sixth tier we got 500 spartan points seventh tier we got 500 spartan points the eighth tier we got a thousand spartan points on the ninth tier we got 2500 spartan points on tier 10 we got the emissary belt which is a hip attachment for the mark 7 core on tier 11 we got 500 spartan points tier 12 we got 500 spartan points tier 13 we got a thousand spartan points tier 14 we got 2500 spartan points tier 15 is our next armor piece which is the emissary heart plate and this is a chest attachment for the mark 7 on tier 16 we got 500 spartan points on tier 17 we got 1000 spartan points on tier 18 we got the emissary pauldron and of course this is for both shoulders we got them lego piece shoulder pads Anyways, let's move on to the next tier, which is tier 19. We got 2,500 Spartan points. And the final tier, which is tier 20, we got the Emissary Helmet and the Helmet Attachment for that Helmet, which is War Master's Mandate. And so, of course, this whole armor set is supposed to be like a banished set of armor, I would assume. I kind of feel like this is just like leftover stuff. I feel like this was supposed to be a shop bundle. So those are all the rewards for the champion's operation. Now, thanks to Grunt API, we actually do have the key art for this operation which i'm going to show you guys here and yeah it's like a red versus blue kind of thing we got going on here but yeah it's kind of hard to tell what this is about but 343 did say themselves on the patch notes that this operation or at least the rewards are inspired by warriors and the spirit of competition so maybe it's going to be like a rank themed or like a focus on like competitive stuff operation and i think that'd be pretty interesting maybe we'll see like the champion rank i mean i'm probably being too optimistic but maybe we'll see like the champion rank introduce itself with this uh operation update at least that's what i'm getting at it seems like what that's what they're going for i mean i could be completely wrong maybe we'll see like huge rank changes or something now the premium reward for this operation is going to be an actual really cool weapon model for the br which is called Rivian Claw. And this is a really unique weapon model. I actually really dig this one. In the background for this image, we also got like that same location that we saw in the key art. So I don't know if it's like hinting at like something. It could just be a nice background, but maybe you guys know something. Maybe this background says something, I don't know. But overall, pretty solid operation, it seems like. Hopefully we do get something that comes along with it, whether it's an event mode or map. Now let's move on to the next operation which is called Halo Ween, and of course this one's gonna take place on October 8th and it ends on November 5th. So it is like a Halloween themed operation. So let's take a look at the rewards for this operation. For the first tier, we got the Jolly Roger emblem and nameplate pack. On the second tier, we got 500 credits. On the third tier, we got another 500 credits. On the fourth tier, we got another thousand Spartan points. On the fifth tier, we got our first armor piece, which is called the Monster Guards. And these are knee guards for the Mark 7. On the sixth tier, we got 500 Spartan points. On the seventh tier, we got 500 Spartan points. On the eighth tier, we got 1,000 Spartan points. On the ninth tier, we got 2,500 Spartan points. On the tenth tier, we got another armor piece here, and this time it's a chest attachment called Reanimation Rig. And I think these are like defibrillators or something, so that's pretty cool. I like this. That's pretty funny. And of course, it's for the Mark 7 core. Seventh tier, we got 500 Spartan points. On the 12th tier, we got 500 Spartan points. On the 13th tier, we got 1,000 Spartan points. On the 14th tier, we got 2,500 Spartan points. On the 15th tier, we got a coating, which I believe is an armor coating called Creature Comfort. And this is like a, uh, well, it seems like it's got a bit of green on there. Not much else I could say about it. But uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like Frankenstein's colors or something, because that's kind of what this armor set is going for. Anyways, let's move on 
on to the next tier which is tier 16 we got 500 spartan points on tier 17 we got a thousand spartan points on tier 18 we got a pair of shoulder pads called patchwork pauldrons and these are very highly detailed i'm not sure what they're supposed to be they look like fans or something i don't know but um anyways on to the next tier which is tier 19 we got 2500 spartan points and the final tier tier 20 we got the spartan stein helmet and yeah that's why i said the creature comfort coating is probably meant to be frankenstein's colors because i think that's what this whole armor set is supposed to be based off of or at least somewhat look like i'm guessing so now that we got the operation pass out of the way let's go ahead and take a look at the key art for this event or sorry operations kind of i mean they're basically the same thing at this point anyways here's the key art for the uh halloween operation and as you can see we got the whole spartan stein set going there and if you notice we also got an armor effect there which i'm gonna talk about in a bit so speaking about the armor effect we see in the key art that is actually going to be the premium reward for this operation and that is a armor effect that we've seen previously in halo reach and they brought it back which i think is really cool it's unfortunate it's gonna be paywalled but i mean most cosmetics are anyways but yeah this armor effect is called pestilent winds now if we look in the background we do see the map illusion so i don't know if that could be hinting towards something maybe we'll get like a bunch of halloween themed maps i mean that's what i'd be hoping for to have like fog on maybe i mean there is flood biomass forge objects now so i'm sure they could probably cook something up ideally what i'd like to see is a infection refresh like adding alpha zombies or like maybe changing up the maps a bit and something or something like that i think that'd be more fun because i really do not like the default infection we have right now in infinite so so yeah that's about everything we know so far about both of these operations keep in mind of course the rewards are subject to change although i feel like these they're more committed to it so with that being said let me know what you guys think i'll see you guys on the next one and of course consider subscribing and liking the video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace